Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. I'm bringing you an interesting video today as I'm at Ranworth Broad in Norfolk and I'm hoping for the first time ever to see an osprey. Let's get going. Ranworth Broad is a large body of water in northeast Norfolk that was originally dug to extract peat. It's managed by Norfolk Wildlife Trust, but as I was there early in the morning, their visitor centre hadn't opened yet. From a floating pontoon next to it, I had good views across the water. There was no sign of an osprey, but plenty of other birds, including the usual suspects, a male mallard and a great crested grebe. The grebe came quite close, but then dived underwater and out of view. There were two floating platforms in front of the visitor centre, which had been claimed by several pairs of black-headed gulls. These only have their dark head feathers in the breeding season, so seeing them in full breeding colours, like this, was a welcome sign of spring. And there was another sign of spring. Back on the water, the grebe had returned, and this time with a partner. A dance partner. Great crested grebes are famed for their courtship display, which sometimes erupts into a head flicking, gift giving, water walking madness but these two didn't seem that into it. Still, it was a great little show. With dance practice over, I'd given up on seeing the osprey and started to head back towards my car. I stopped at a clearing to look at what I thought was a heron's nest in the distance. I managed to take a photo rather than a video here, but have you noticed why I decided to go back to the pontoon? It turns out the osprey was there and perhaps it had been lurking in the distant trees the entire time. The platform to the right is a man-made structure that has been put up by the Wildlife Trust in the hopes that ospreys would settle and nest here. They haven't nested in Norfolk for more than 250 years, but they are stopping off here more often on their yearly migrations. So fingers crossed. And then I noticed something swimming through the water to my right-hand side. Unreal, it was an otter. There are plenty of fish in the broads, so it's no surprise that two apex fish predators are here, but I never thought I'd see them both at the same time. The otter only came above the surface twice. It looked like it was hunting, but soon swam round the corner and out of sight. Typically, the osprey had seized its opportunity and flown from its perch whilst I'd been distracted. At the time, I thought this could have been it flying across the reeds, but seeing it on a big screen, I can now say for certain that this is actually a marsh harrier passing by. And with its grey tail, I can even tell you that this one is a male. And as if all this action wasn't enough, I then noticed another exciting bird perched in the top branches of a nearby tree. Can you guess what it is? A great spotted woodpecker. You can just about make out the red patch at the back of this bird's head, meaning it is a male. I don't know if it's because I've spent more time outside recently, but I seem to see great spotted woodpeckers quite often now. Not that I'm complaining, I still love spotting them. And that was a mad five minutes. The osprey, an otter, the woodpecker, and a kingfisher flew past. Now I'm gonna walk, there's a little hide just down the boardwalk here. I'm gonna stop into the little hide, hopefully get a better look at a kingfisher. But if not, it's already been well worth coming here. I couldn't help but having one last look for the osprey before I moved on, and it was back. This bird is a male and would have recently arrived to the UK after spending the winter in West Africa or perhaps southern Spain or Portugal. I won't make you suffer any more of this hazy and shaky footage, but later this year I'm going in search of nesting ospreys, so stay tuned for that video where hopefully I'll be able to get some better shots. I really did move on now, and after a short walk down a well-maintained boardwalk, I arrived at a small and clean hide. But, it seems I'd used up all of my luck for the morning. And after all the excitement at the broad, 
there hasn't been anything here at this height at all. So that's where this video comes to an end and that is the reality of watching wildlife. Sometimes you see lots of things in five minutes and other times you spend three hours and see nothing at all. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more British wildlife then click on this video on the screen now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And after all the excitement at the last And after all the ex and after all the excitement. Start again.